Just a little bit of guidance on your small group. So on many of the courses, including EFC, we uh, recommend people work in small groups. Um, the reason for this is, is several, but to reflect upon what you're doing, particularly extrovert people like to reflect out loud. I know I'm like that. Um, to reflect upon your practice and what you've been up to, you know, the experiments you do on EFC, like going to a yoga class or whatever. Um, to talk about that with other people, to think out loud, and also to hear other people's experience. Um, I think on courses, people often think all the learning's coming from the teacher, but actually peer learning is massive, absolutely massive. Um, so to learn from other people's experience, either because they've got a different perspective than you, and you're, you, know, you might have clients that have that different perspective in the future, you're, we're not, your own experience isn't going to cover it all, or because what they're saying is like they're a little bit ahead of you and it's on the tip of their tongue. Um, so we recommend in the small groups you're sharing your experience rather than talking just about embodiment theoretically. Um, though, you know, you can ask each other questions and, and share that. Um, also, you know, it's a place to practice centering, for example. You could start each call with a bit of centering. It's a, ta a chance to practice self-awareness. Um, different people structure it different way, but a, a common thing would be to say at the beginning, everyone does a check-in. One sentence, three sentences, three words, how long you want to make it, where you say how you are, not the story, but how you are. So practicing this emotional awareness check-in. And then someone leads the centering, which starts to give you a bit of practice at that. You know, you can look at your notes if you're new to it. Um, so you start to get some practice at teaching some of the basics like that. Um, and then you discuss the experience of, that you've been doing for that week. So for example, on EFC, there might be a week's task, practice, reflections. And the key thing here is to share your experience. And there's two things you need to offer each other. One is support, and the other is challenge. Okay, so support is it's like you're empathic, you listen to each other and you help each other and you encourage each other. And when they say, oh, I missed the day's meditation, I'm such a fucking idiot. You might say, no, 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 you're doing okay, you're doing your best, you know, so you support yourself. But you also challenge each other, yeah? Um, so this is a good yang fiery skill for some of you to develop. Um, don't overdo it if you're a super yang fiery person like me. So the challenging is to say, you know, what do you mean? You say you're an idiot it's because you missed the day. Come on, that's not true, you know? Or to say, why haven't you been practicing? You know, like you could ultimately on my courses, you could say you've been practicing and tell Catherine you've been practicing, but you're not going to get anything from it unless you actually are. And part of a peer support is, is that challenge to say, come on, get yourself together. Or someone might say, you know what, I can't practice because I'm a parent. And someone else might say, I'm a parent and I practice, come on. So that little bit of accountability uh, that you're promising things to your group. And it, I think that's much more powerful than, for some people, they struggle with authority figures. You know, they don't like being told what to do, even though they've voluntarily signed up for it at EFC. But it can still be that authority pushback. So sometimes peers are going to get a much better response in terms of accountability and challenge. Um, yeah, so there's some of the things you can do in your small groups. You can do meditations, you know. Um, keep it embodied rather than just talking about embodiment, I would say. Um, you know, is a key part of the course, that space to reflect, that peer learning, challenge and support. Um, enjoy your small groups. I think it's an incredibly rich part of many of my courses and it's something, you know, you can really make some friends for life, actually. I've seen that happen. So um, do enjoy each other as well.